Ta ta da, ta ta ta. Testing. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. It's time for another shop update. Uh, this last week I did two videos. Um, number one, on Thursday I released a video on restoring saws. Um, I had a few of them to restore, so I figured I would show one that was really rusted and pity, um, and then another one that wasn't that bad, and kind of what I go through to actually restore them and uh, get them up to running condition. Um, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out over here. A lot of good comments on that one, and uh, it's one that I really enjoy because I love taking old saws and making them useful again. The second one was actually on a vice for my kids bench. And uh, wow, this video has taken off like wildfire. It is uh, probably the fastest growing video I've ever put out and apparently people like it. <laughs> I uh, originally saw the design at WIA. Um, it was a uh, Chris Schwarz, um, uh, his bench that he, it was kind of a cross between a 15th century bench and a Roman bench. Um, and I really like it. It's very simple. Um, with a very little torque, um, you can clamp down on something really, really well. So it's great for the kids because it's just easy to use and uh, they enjoy it. Um, I'm thinking about making something very similar to this. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me about, doesn't that stick out too far from the bench? Um, and, and yeah, it's, it's only about, out about five inches. Um, which for them, that's not an issue. Um, if it were on my bench, maybe, maybe not. Um, I'd probably put it on the end and uh, I use that more for doing dovetails. But I'm thinking about doing something similar to that. I'm probably gonna be making a, a bench top mox and vice here soon. Um, but yeah, um, a lot of people absolutely love that video and the kids' reaction was just, <laughs> it was great. So I really like, like having the, uh, the kids in here playing with that. So videos for this next week, I'm actually going to be doing a video on marking gauges for Thursday. Um, this is a, a topic that I really enjoy and if you've never used a marking gauge, it is a fantastic tool for really putting an extremely precise line on things. Um, I rarely use pencils or other marking utensils. Um, these give you uh, measurements that are dead on and are extremely useful. So I'm gonna be going through a whole bunch of different types and how they're used, and so keep an eye out for that probably on Thursday. Also for this next week, it is the much awaited next installment of the dresser build. Um, and so for those of you who have recently come to the channel, um, I am building a dresser um, about five foot long with 10 drawers in it. Um, it will be kind of a uh, mission style, but with my own flair on it. Um, and so <laughs> this is, uh, it's a lot of work. It's 80 some dovetail joints. Um, no, excuse me, 40 some dovetail joints, 80 some bridle joints, uh, a whole pile of mortise and tenon, and the whole project will probably end up being around 200 to 300 pounds of white oak. So um, it is a beefy, massive dresser, and I'm really having fun putting it together. So that's really what I've been working on this week, and I'm trying to put in more time next week on that. Um, I have all of the carcass pieces assembled, um, so that's why I've been putting all of these frames together uh, for it. And so it will actually be, uh, this frame will be on there, and so there'll be a divider so that the drawers can go in, and then there'll be another horizontal frame, um, and then more dividers on top of that. Um, and so these are all the dividers and shelves that the drawers will slide on uh, for the carcass. So I'm looking, I'm looking forward to having this video out probably Saturday, I'm guessing. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you haven't seen the uh, build thus far, um, feel free to go over here and check out um, everything that has transpired on the uh, dresser build so far. Um, I do have to warn you, um, I've been working on this for a long time, and the first few videos um, were actually before I got serious about making videos, and uh, so they're not really all that wonderful, but <laughs> you might, uh, might kind of laugh at uh, what my videos used to look like. So this next week, I'm not actually going to have a whole lot of time in the shop, and I'm not sure what my videos will be uh, next week, but I'm going to be traveling out to Eugene, Oregon uh, the rest of this week. I'm helping a church out there put in a lighting system uh, that is uh, kind of one of my passions, and I love theater lighting, so I'm going to be out there doing that. 
So this week's Spotlight channel is Colin Colon. Uh, he is a really, really cool designer, um, and he, for his um, education, actually made a chair uh, that is a, a bent ash, uh, really, really interesting design. Um, and so he is wanting to actually take that chair to market, and so he's going through all the steps of the design process, the problem solving, how is it made, building forms for bending things, um, and really working with it and doing it with almost almost no tool, a minimalistic, um, other than a, a local maker space for some of the actual um, power tools for it. Uh, but a really, really cool guy, and he has a, a lot of uh, interesting ideas, and uh, his design aspects are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so if you haven't seen his stuff, uh, go check out his channel. Um, it's really, really kind of cool. So that's about it for this week. I really don't have a whole lot going on uh, because of all the traveling with uh, going up to Matt's and then WIA and now going out to Eugene. So hopefully next week we'll actually have some more things going on in here. Um, I hope you like this. If you did, please hit like and think about subscribing. Uh, I want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon. I, I know I say this a lot, but you guys are an extreme encouragement to me, and uh, thank you for that. Um, if you want to find out more about that, you can uh, click on the link over here. If you did like this video, you might like one of these others. And until next time, have a wonderful day.